Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this would be an episode of The Developer Show, but I'm on vacation. However, when I was in Tokyo, I spent some time at Cloud Next in person, checking out everything that was happening on the ground so that you could get a peek at that as well. Let's check some of that out. This is Cloud Next Tokyo. I'm here to show you around the conference, so let's go check it out. I'm here with Kaz at the Thing Translator. Kaz, what's a Thing Translator? Yeah, Thing Translator is a web application that runs in a mobile uh, phone. So it's a web app. Yeah, it's a web app. That's cool. So it's so simple. So anybody can build it. And you can press a button to uh, take a picture like this. So now it's sending the. Uh, That's cool. The world uh, describes the object as well as the translation to Japanese. Oh, so this is Japanese for flower? Yeah. And also, you can notice that there are some other candidates for the labels of the objects, like flower, plant, flower, arranging. I see. With the accuracy. Yeah. Awesome. What are some other things that we can translate? Yeah, we can, yeah I can try, try you. Clothing. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I am wearing clothing. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. What about, uh, can we try the ceiling? Okay. And ceiling. Ceiling. <laughs> yes, it works. <laughs> That's great. Now, what tech is this built on? So, this is a web application, and behind the scenes, there is a backend that takes the picture and sends the pictures to the Vision API, which is okay. the machine learning API so we provide. So, that has the uh, uh, vision recognition, uh, the image recognition engines based on the deep learning model. So, that's the, uh, the how it works. Awesome. Yeah. Huh. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. And that's Cloud Next Tokyo 2017. If you'd like to catch some more cool developer content like this, please subscribe to the Google Developers YouTube channel and save the Developer Show playlist. See you next time.